This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website or online store, make it with Squarespace. Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk about my top five calligraphy books. There are a ton of calligraphy books out there. These are five that I found really useful on my journey as I learned calligraphy and I still refer back to now. Um, if you're just starting out with hand lettering and calligraphy, I really recommend learning calligraphy first because you'll pick up some really good habits, especially when knowing how to add weight to letters, especially in the script and the serif styles. Uh, so let's get into the top five. First up, we have calligraphy for dummies. When I decided I wanted to learn calligraphy about six years ago, this is the first suggestion that popped up on Google when I searched how to learn calligraphy. What's great about this book is it covers a wide range of calligraphy styles with plenty of practice exercises for each. So you can see which one takes your interest the most and then you can go on and dedicate more time to that particular one. The author recommends a set of manuscript calligraphy pens which are fairly cheap to purchase and could be bought from any craft shop or online store. I'll put links to all these in the description below. After I'd been through all the different styles in the calligraphy for dummies guide, I found that formal script was the style that I loved the most. This also can be referred to as copper plate script, grocer's script or American roundhand, but all of them use a dip pen and ink to get that style. And so I went on to develop it further using the next book, which is Mastering Copper Plate Calligraphy by Eleanor Winters. This is a great book which takes you through all the materials you may need uh, to setting up your own guidelines and then going through a step-by-step -step of all the lowercase letters, the uppercase alphabet, and then numerals. And then it finally goes on to looking at spacing of your letters, connecting your letters, and then finally sort of laying them out on a sheet of paper or an envelope. If you love scripts and want to develop it further, but you prefer the more free-flowing modern calligraphy style, then the book Modern Calligraphy by Molly Superthorpe is a great buy. It doesn't just go through the process of learning this style, but it gives you a ton of resources uh, showing you how to use it in practical ways to make uh, gifts or to create products to sell. She also gives you lots of different variations of each letter and also how to write in watercolour and gouache so you can have a different look for every project that you're working on. Next up, we have the Calligrapher's Bible. This is less of a complete walkthrough from cover to cover and more of a jump in and out reference book for 100 different calligraphy styles. Each style has two pages dedicated to it. The left hand page which covers the uh, construction of each letter form for the whole alphabet and the right hand page which is the technique needed to draw this style. So I use this book in a couple of different ways. One, either if I'm doing some work and I want to try it in a new style or to be reminded of how to draw certain letter forms. Lastly, we have script in the copper plate style by Dr. Joseph M. Vitolo. I think that's how you pronounce his surname. Uh, this is actually a free iBook that you can download on iTunes. Uh, if you haven't got an Apple device, then you can get a similar PDF on the Xenerium website. If you wanted to see what's involved in learning copper plate script, then this is a great book to have a look through, as this style does require quite a big commitment to learn it. You could even start with whatever pen or pencil you've got laying around just to get a feel of it before you invest in the tools and the time required for this one. So that's my top five. I'd love to know whether you're thinking about starting calligraphy or if you've been through the process and have some other resources that you can recommend then please do leave them in the comment section below. Uh, but I'd also like to thank Squarespace again for sponsoring this video. Uh, if you need a new domain or website they really are a fantastic platform. I've been using them ever since I first started my journey into calligraphy and I needed to promote the fact that this was now part of my business. I needed somewhere that was going to show it off in an attractive way, easy to update and manage and Squarespace has been perfect for this. They have beautifully designed templates which make your work look amazing and a super simple user interface which helps updating your website really easy and if for some reason you get stuck they have award-winning 24-7 customer support to help you out. So start your free trial now by heading to squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, head on over to squarespace.com forward slash Ian and Barnard to receive 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. 